Finding the perfect home starts with Remax.com, which features charming cottages, bungalows, homesteads, hideaways, and abodes. Conveniently located right in the heart of everywhere. Also includes 5 million bedrooms, 4 million bathrooms, plus every type of floor, staircase, fireplace, period detail, and some of the best schools anywhere. Find the listings you love and the agents who can get them at Remax.com. That's the sign of a Remax agent. Let's get ready for another great week of football with the Remax Big Three games for Week Five. Let's start in Kansas, where Blue Valley hosts Rockers in a cross-state battle. Blue Valley has rebounded nicely after a Week One loss to St. Thomas Aquinas and have won two straight since then. The Hawkins have also won two straight since their loss to Blue Springs. This game was won by Rockers in a blowout last year, but the Tigers are much improved, and this game could go down to the wire. Next up, we head to the Frontier League, where Bonner Springs hosts Tonganoxie. Bonner Springs has played well after losing to Paola to start the season. The Braves are coming off an impressive win over Spring Hill and will be challenged by a Tonganoxie team that is not only undefeated, but is averaging 45 points a game in its three wins. Conference and district positioning is on the line, so expect a good effort from both squads. Our final Remax Big 3 game on the Kansas side is Shawnee Mission Northwest traveling to Shawnee Mission East. Northwest is a perfect 3-0 behind the strong play of quarterback Ty Black in an offense that has scored more than 40 points in each of its games. The Lancers got their first one of the season last week and are looking to build some momentum after starting the year with two straight losses. Let's jump over to the Missouri side and head to Pembroke Hill where the Raiders will be hosting Lincoln Prep. Both schools are 4-0, so one team will get its first loss of the season. This will be the toughest test of the season for both teams. Lincoln Prep has been a juggernaut, averaging 51 points a game. Pembroke Hill has also been on fire, scoring no less than 31 in each of its game, including 52 in a win over University Academy. Schoolboard could need some bulbs when this one is over. Our next Remax Big 3 game of the week is Park Hill at Ray Peck in a Suburban Gold Showdown. Both teams are 3-1, and one, and this game will have a big impact on the conference race and, more importantly, postseason seeding. Panthers' only loss came to Rockers, and they have dominated in their three wins. Park Hill's only loss came to Liberty North two weeks ago. The Trojans bounced back last week with an impressive win over Lee Summit North. This could be the best game of the week when all is said and done. Our final Remax Big 3 game is Lee Summit North hosting Liberty. Both teams come in at 2-2, two and two, with each having lost to Liberty North and Park Hill. Liberty's defense has been strong, allowing just over two TDs a game and will be tested by a Broncos rushing attack led by Keon Mosey, who has 313 yards in three games he has played. In a tough Class 6 district, this is another game that will have a huge impact come playoff time. Remember, you can find the Remax Big 3 every Tuesday on PrepsKC.com or the PrepsKC YouTube channel.